Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jenna Redfield and today we're going to be talking about customizing and creating your perfect dashboard for Notion. Make sure to follow for more Notion content and check out our brand new Notion Foundations All Access where you can get access to all of our templates, courses, live trainings, and monthly office hours. Okay, so I wanted to make this video because I've done videos about dashboards before, but not about how you specifically can create your own dream dashboard. I've showed you mine, I've showed you different ones that I've created in the past, but never like why I've chosen things or why you should really consider how you want to lay out your dashboard. So this is going to be kind of a choose your own adventure video where I'm going to be showing you some options and you can definitely decide for yourself what you want from your dashboard. Let's talk a little bit about dashboards before we get into me showing you my screen because I want to talk specifically about why it's important to have a central hub. When you join Notion, one of the first things you're going to do is you're going to start, whether it's from the Notion database of all of their templates or maybe you buy one, maybe you buy someone's system and you're like, well, this isn't really like how I'm going to use it. How do I customize it? We're going to be talking about all that today. One of the first things I highly recommend doing though is having a dashboard, having a central hub, which is like your homepage for yourself. Having links to the things that you use often is really important. And sometimes other platforms will have things and other templates will have things that you don't really care about or you need to use often. So I highly recommend looking into figuring out what are the things that you use every day. So that's step one. What are the things that you're gonna access often that you wanna put on the front page? A couple other things I'll talk about as well is deciding if you want things on the side um, or if you just want them on the dashboard. My personal philosophy is that you should not have a bunch of pages on the left hand side. I used to do that. Um, it is helpful for shortcuts, but if you really want to start utilizing the dashboard, um, having it only available from the dashboard actually helps you out being able to use that often. Let's move into the computer because I think it'll be easier to kind of explain as I go with walking you through what options you have when it comes to setting up your dashboard. Um, again, this is a choose your own adventure, figuring out what you need for yourself. And I'll just show you guys some options that you have for creating your own custom dream dashboard. Okay, so this is a view of my personal actual Notion account. So this looks very similar to my template. But you can see I've set it up so it's mostly button oriented and all of these buttons open up a specific page. So for me, this is how I use shortcuts. I just like the look of this. Um, I also have a view of my pillars as well. So if I want to cut to that, um, I have my pillar options. For me, I just don't look at that as much as I used to. So I just find the specific pages that I need. So one of the things I want to talk about is the left hand side. Now, some people will have a ton of different pages and actually if you click this it will bring up a couple of them but I'm the kind of person where it's like I just always want to go back to the dashboard I don't want to have a bunch of pages where I'm constantly trying to find what I'm looking for having everything on the front page where it's all shortcuts to the things I really need is very helpful but I can also still find it because some of these things have pages within pages of course like a Wikipedia so one of the first things that you have to decide is, are you going to set up your dashboard and have like a bunch of pages where the initial page or even the shortcut page is over on the left hand side, or do you want it clean over there? That is probably one of the first things that you will have to decide upon. The next thing that you're going to want to decide is, do you want to view things or do you just want shortcuts to things? So embedding something and seeing maybe a linked view of a database. For example, if you go to my template, um, I actually have this option. So if you, if you get my ADHD life tracker template, because I have a bunch of different templates, I kind of have to have them over on the left-hand side. Um, you can see that I literally have them almost in buckets as well. So you could do this as well if you have multiple spaces. So if I go to my ADHD life tracker template, this is my template version. You can see that I actually have these options where I have drop downs. I have embedded databases um, so there's a couple of different options that you could do for this. You could create a linked view where you can have multiple different databases. So you can see here I have the grocery list, I've got the meals and recipes. And again, you can view it in um, either list view or gallery view or whatever. You can set this up however you want. You can also put this within a tab that opens and closes. So you can see it's at a glance. So this is one option that you can do is you can have um, basically shortcuts to the different databases so that you can do this. You could also move these out. For example, let's just duplicate this real quick. Let's just duplicate this real quick. Let's duplicate it. And you can see that I can now move this out so that it's able to be seen um, from the dashboard. So you can decide if you want to see all of your 
little databases and you can even put them next to each other. You can have you know three or four different columns or you can choose to hide them away. If you haven't looked at the clutter bug methodology, this is basically a, a woman who has like these four different types of personalities for how you like to see things. If you have ADHD, you may not be the one that likes to hide things away because you forget that they exist. So for me, what I found personally is that I don't like these as much. I would rather just skip to knowing what I need right here. So that is what I have done for myself. I still have these available in the template for some people that want to view it that way. Um, but there's, a, again, a many, many different types of ways to do dashboards. Um, and I just kind of wanted to talk about that today because you may be using someone's dashboard and you're like, I don't like the way that this is viewed or I want a shortcut. A couple other things to think about also is, do you want to embed things? Like for example, I've embedded things like weather and a clock. You can also um, embed, you know, countdowns or timers. I know some people do Pomodoro, which I, you know, I have very complicated feelings about Pomodoro. Um, I talked about that in the podcast, but I think that there's a lot of different things that you can put on the home page. You could also create checklists. You can create daily things that, you know, cycle through. It really just depends again on your goals, your visions, that sort of thing. One of the things that you will notice is that I also have my pillars set up. So I am able to jump to those pages, but for some people, they have to decide if they, where they want to store the parent level of those pages. So the main page, the actual like first location where it is. For me, I store all of that inside of the ADHD tag and knowledge vault area. So every single page that I have, the original page is within this database. So some people like to have the original pages on their main dashboard. So that's like the, I guess the home or the hub where they have it all. But what I do is, again, I have shortcuts down here to those pages, but you can also, I was creating this as an example, you could also link to a specific page if you'd like. Instead of having a button, which basically does the same thing, it's, it's a shortcut, this actually just goes to the main page of that. I just personally like the aesthetics of the button a little bit more than having a link to, you know, link to a page. Personally, I just like the way this looks better. So that's why I've kind of switched to this instead of having links over to those pages. So it's up to you if you like this, or like I mentioned before, you can have like a linked view of a database as well as multiple different, you know, views of the same thing. You can have multiple different databases on this um, area. It really, again, it all depends on what you want for yourself. Do you want to be able to see the databases or do you just want to jump over to that page and then focus on that page while you're on it? For me, what I found personally is if I have too many of these linked views of databases, um, I get kind of overwhelmed. Um, but with this shortcut area, which is now new part of my life tracker, um, I'm able to just go specifically. So for example, if I'm going to my product shopping list, I just click open and then I can be in that page. I, I, can, I know I can always go back to the dashboard if I want to go back to what I need to find. But for me personally, it's like this has taken me two years of figuring out what exactly do I want Notion for. And for me, what I found is that I need it to be um, the hub and figure out exactly what I need it for. So I've got my pillars here. I've got a couple of widgets as well. So figuring out like, what do I even need? Sometimes too many widgets can be overwhelming as well. I'm trying to simplify my dashboard to a place where it's not like, I don't want my dashboard to be everything, but some people want that. Some people want to have every single thing on the dashboard. I just find personally, I get distracted and overwhelmed. Another thing to think about is, you know, organizing, aesthetically. Some people like the aesthetics, but sometimes I find that when people spend too much time on making it look perfect, they actually don't actually get anything done. So making sure that you're spending time on the right things. For me, it's like I've obviously got the little icons. I've organized it by color. If you've watched my color coding video, I walk through that. But for me, it's like, all right, what are the dashboards I really need? I need to get to those. Um, and that's it. So that's how I've organized my dashboard personally. And I hope that this video has helped you kind of decide, hey, how do I want to structure my dashboard? Do I want to have um, linked views of things? Do I want to have buttons? Do I want to have shortcuts? Do I want to have the main pages? Do I want to have things on the sides? Again, this is a choose your own adventure where you can really decide what you want for yourself and your dashboard. This is what I currently have. There are a ton of options out there, um, but I just wanted to share with you today um, just some pointers and tips I've learned along the way. Again, you can make up your mind. You can always customize my own templates. Once you, te once you duplicate a template into your 
um, dashboard or into your Notion account. You can customize it however you want. So anyways, I hope that this was a helpful video. Um, stay tuned for all of the five parts of this series, um, which you can see right here. We have the dates and everything coming up. Hope that you guys are excited for this series. I'll talk to you next time.